Hello YouTube family, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita and welcome. And in today's video, we are going to do a good old fashioned haul, you guys. I received so many new fragrances in PR, a couple that I purchased with my own coins, and literally, I don't even know how many we have. It's a lot. So I'm not gonna hold you all day. We're not gonna do any in-depth um, reviews or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of show you what I have. And if I have, like I haven't even smelled all of these. If I have smelled them, I'm gonna give you kind of like my first impression thoughts. And you know me, I'm not a big first impressions girl. So please don't go out here buying these fragrances based off of, you know, this particular video. I'm going to go more in depth um, with all of these in future videos, but I just want to share with you some goodies that I've added into my collection. Where they will fit, I don't know, because we ran out of storage a long time ago. So, without further ado, uh, let's jump in. <laughs> so the first thing that I want to talk about is actually a discovery set. So your girl is officially a House of Siage affiliate, and they have gifted me the discovery set for the women's line. So many of these I already have in my collection because when I tell you no one does beautiful feminine fragrances like this house. Of course, the packaging, it wows us and catches our eye across the board. Like they got the packaging down, but the scents are just as beautiful and impressive with this house. So out of these, I already have Shove Adore. I have Host Bijou. Passion de l'Amour is my ride or die. <laughs> I think my first oud fragrance is Passion de l'Amour. Um, and I want to add quite a few from this discovery set, but I already know from sniffing them, I will be getting a full bottle of Tiara into my collection at some point because I was always kind of on the fence about Hmm, just looking at the notes, what is this gonna smell like? It smells so beautiful and I need it, all right? So you can actually save 25%, 25% off the discovery set. So again, just check the description box for any details below on that. But if you're looking for feminine fragrances, you're just looking to get into, you know, more niche perfumery that's really wearable, um, that smells like quality and that is, you know, unmistakably feminine, this is the house you need to check out. All right, again, so this is the, the signature collection women's line from the House of Siage Discovery set. All right, you guys, so next up on the list is going to be Herba Gold. Yes, this is going to be uh, the sister to Herba Pura, and Herba Pura is definitely a love or hate it scent, okay? Love or hate it, but I actually prefer this scent over Herba Pura, and I think a lot of people that did not vibe with it will also maybe have the same feelings. Now, I never dislike Upper Pura, but I had so many fragrances like my Tiziana Terenzi's that kind of reminded me of, you know, it reminded me of things I already had in my collection and I didn't want anything just a little redundant, especially at these price points. So Arbor Gold is very similar to Upper Pura with the fruitiness, um, you know, the smell of it is, is similar, but where this differs, it is much more ambery. It's warmer in the base. The musk is not as in your face. The fruitiness, you know, like I said, it's kind of similar as far as the notes, but just think Arba Pura, probably gonna be less musky, less scratchy to people that had that, you know, that weird reaction on their skin to Arba Pura. Test this one out, Twisted Lily is now carrying it. They were so kind enough to give this to me and I love it. I'm really happy to have this one in my collection. And it's one that I think you should definitely try before you buy, just because like I said, the whole musk thing can get a little weird on some people's skin. But again, a little less musky to me and warmer, ambery, um, you know, feel in, in the base. And I think that it's smoother, it's beautiful, and it's going to be a fruity fragrance that I feel like you can pull off all year. Again, this one is Herba Gold, and you can get samples and full bottles of this at Twisted Lily. Check the description box because guess what? 10% when you use my discount code at Twisted Lily. And a big thank you to Twisted Lily for gifting me this gorgeous fragrance. All right, so another gold bottle. <laughs> and wow, was I, oh, you, the dentation. Wait a minute now, I didn't think you could see through these bottles, but my ring light is catching it. Child, and we are all the way down here. I had no idea, but Dolce Melodia? I bought this with my own coins. I sampled it and I was like, 
what the heck, man? I don't want to buy another Suspiro. They're so expensive, but I could not help myself. I kept going back to the sample. It smells so divine. This is a white floral. It is fruity, but there is just something so special about the way this wears and smells on me. I don't, who, do, who else has this? Do, if you have it, what is, why, what sets this apart? I wanna know because there is just something that my nose absolutely loves about this fragrance. I don't know what it is because you read the notes, it's not gonna sound like anything crazy or groundbreaking, but this is such an addictive, beautiful, fruity white floral. Okay, so Dolce Melodia has notes of mandarin orange, orange, saffron, gardenia, pear, black currant. It's something about that doggone juicy pear and that black currant together. Ooh, it has jasmine rose, vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. Just a gorgeously done composition. I don't know if it's the saffron that's doing it to me. It's something very addictive between the saffron, the vanilla, and that fruitiness in the mid. It is absolutely gorgeous. So definitely check this one out. This one you can actually get, I think I bought mine through Scent Split. I think that if you love white florals, if you love fruity fragrances, this one will be a no brainer. It is absolutely gorgeous, very long wearing, gorgeous sillage and tons of compliments, okay? I had no idea that I had run through so much, <laughs> but I cannot, this one is just one I can't stop wearing. Again, this one is Dolce Melodia by Suspiro. Okay, so this next one, these next two actually were gifted to me by Argos, okay? I did not request these particular scents and I probably would not have even pick this one if I had the, the chance to, to pick whichever fragrance I wanted. But when I tell you, I am so happy to have Orfem in my collection. This actually blew me away because it is quite feminine. It's fresh. It almost feels aldehydic to me, even though I don't really see aldehydes listed. This is so feminine and beautiful, you guys. I cannot, I cannot and it performs beautifully. It's powdery, but it's got this lavender. It's sweet, it's so classy. This is chic, it's classy. It is, it's, it, this is femininity in a bottle. And when I say Corfem, perfect name for this fragrance, because if you wanna feel like an elegant, sophisticated woman, just grab for this. Heavy on the vanilla, it's powdery, it's citrusy. It has white florals, but it's beautifully balanced with amber, purple florals, roses. It's complex, okay? Creaminess from ylang ylang in the base. It is a lot going on as far as the notes, but just think purple florals, sweet, a little creamy, a little powdery, and lots of vanilla. <laughs> Beautiful fragrance, pleasantly surprised by this one because I was expecting to get just a boring white floral citrusy scent, honestly, <laughs> but Gorgeous scent. Okay, so the next one is Birth of Venus. Now this one equally is beautiful and feminine, but this I feel like is more of a easy reach, grab and go fruity scent. This one I feel like, whereas I can see this one, you know, being worn year round, especially with that aromatic vibe you get from the lavender. This one I feel like is going to be better suited for like your uh, spring and summer, just because of the fruitiness really takes over the scent. There are a ton of notes in this fragrance and honestly, a lot of them I don't get, but I do get those fruity notes listed such as raspberry, peach, you know, it's balanced with beautiful rose, it's ambery. You do have things like, um, you know, orange blossom, grapefruit, lavender at the top. Again, beautifully composed and very uh, well blended. So a lot of these notes they mention, they don't, I don't really get those. They don't stick out like chocolate. I don't really get that, but it's beautifully composed. And I think that if you love fruity scents, but you want something a little bit more refined than your typical designer, fruity floral, then Birth of Venus is definitely one I would recommend that you check out. Again, all of these, dang near everything we discussed and probably gonna have a discount code. So check the description box if you wanna save 10% when you buy direct from Argos. Again, this one is Birth of Venus. Okay, so this next one, you guys, I love it. I love it, it was a blind buy. This is from the Aqua Allegoria line of Guerlain. And this is a mouthful of Forte Bosca Vanilla. I can never remember the Bosca Vanilla, the order of the words, so I always have to look at the bottle, but Bosca Vanilla is very fresh. This is a very 
fresh take on a vanilla, okay? We don't see that a lot. Um, <laughs> so it's very solar. You have to love those solar fragrances. It's very bright. It's so uplifting and happy, but you get that vanilla. It really does shine. And I feel like this is going to be a easy reach grab um, spring and summer vanilla fragrance. That is, it's still sweet. But again, it's solar, very solar. And I'm really happy to have this one in my collection. I actually wish I had gotten the bigger bottle. Now the performance on these, it actually is quite moderate. I was thinking that these are all EDTs from this line, but not the case. This is actually a Eau de Parfum. And I do feel like I can still smell this on me, you know, after that four or five hour mark where I feel like the EDTs in this line, maybe a couple hours and I have to top them off. But beautiful, uh, release from Guerlain and you guys I know I said I was not gonna buy the vanilla plantifolia extract but uh, honey I might have to sell some of these perfumes that I don't like and and come up with the coins because the bottles are just calling my name and it's vanilla and it's Guerlain and how could I not okay but anyway All right so next up is actually one that's going to stay sealed but Fenty actually gifted me a bottle and a travel size of the Fenty Eau de Parfum, which I already owned, but hey, I ain't gonna turn down no PR from Fenty, okay? They reached out to me. I was like, hey, yeah, I would've been your PR list. So they were so kind enough to gift this to me, but because I know my sister is utterly obsessed with Fenty Eau de Parfum, I'm going to gift her this as a stocking stuffer for Christmas um, because she goes through the Fenty, honey, all right? so. Thank you, Fenty, for gifting me this. Um, again, I think this is actually a holiday gift set that is available through Sephora and Fenty Direct. So check the description box. I will have this set linked, but it's so beautifully packaged. I don't wanna like ruin it and then like give it to my sister and um, you know, her stocking open. So this one, again, Fenty Eau de Parfum, gorgeous rose tangerine blueberry musk fragrance. That's not for everybody, but it that fragrance is a love for me. Okay, so next up is going to be from the house of Sora Dora, and this is Mallow. I have been waiting to smell this for so long now because they teased us with those white bottles some time ago. Um, which the look itself is such a departure from, you know, the, the black bottles. And I was just like, I need it, I want it. I feel like the other ones are so unisex and I felt like these are gonna be way more feminine and they are. So Mallow is, it's nice, okay? I like it. Something, something is ever so slightly pickle juicy on my skin in the opening though. And that is what's throwing me off, okay? but the note. So Mallow is like, it's almondy, it's fruity, it's very powdery. You've got quite a few purple florals in this one. So it opens with raspberry, vanilla, and pink pepper. Then you have orange blossom, heliotrope, and almond. And then you have black musk, violet, and amber in the base. Maybe just the way the amber is done is why I'm getting that pickle thing slightly in the opening. It's not anything overbearing that will stop me from ever wearing it, but just, just a little hint of it in the opening. Um, and it could be that raspberry kind of mixing with the amber because lots of times I'll get that when fruits are mixed with certain ambers, the way, kind of the way it's done. But this is beautiful, but they also released Janny. And uh, let me tell you, that is the one for me. That one, I can see over spraying, I can see wearing a lot of. And though this is very pretty, um, I just really enjoy Jenny so much better. Jenny is a gourmand and she's about to be coming for y'all next. So prepare for her because when you see the notes, you're gonna be like, okay, whoa, what does this, you know, it's gonna smell different from what the notes would suggest, but it's complex, it's gourmand, it's sweet, it's beautiful. And you're going to just smell amazing. Pretty much you're going to smell amazing. So look out for that one because even after I purchase that one on coins, I'm, I'm getting that one into my collection. So Janny has notes of baked apple, cinnamon, puff pastry, vanilla, apricot, caramel, nutty notes, plum, white musk, almond, osmanthus, and peach. Okay. Do you understand? But it sounds extremely foodie and maybe even borderline juvenile, but it is it smells very grown up. This is a gourmand for the grown folks, I'm telling you. Beautiful fragrance. And again, you're gonna smell it and you're just, wow, what this smells amazing. What is what are the notes? 
okay? I would have never guessed all this was going on in it, <laughs> but it's beautiful, very fruity, very gourmand, and I cannot wait to add that one to my collection. All right, you guys, so next up is a lots of fragrances from Clean Reserve. Um, I actually collaborated with them uh, in a video, and I will link it, but I have a full dedicated review on all four of these. And so I'm not gonna really dive into it, but Sparkling Sugar, I actually owned before they gifted me this. And um, one that is just an easy, fresh, sweet, you know, sugary gourmand. And I love that one. This one is Radiant Nectar, which was like fruity, a little bit more complex actually than Sparkling Sugar. It's a lot going on, but the Tobacco Blossom and the muskmallow, those things just really stood out to me in that one. So skin was by far like the standout, wow, but simple fragrance for me. And half my bottle is almost gone now, okay? Love it. Wear it to bed every night when I'm just going about my day or editing videos in the house. I can't help but to put it on. It is sweet but it's like your skin but better and then it's musky and then it's, it's floral, it's just divine. So if you are looking for anything that is like clean girl aesthetic and you want to smell still a little delectable, skin is it, okay? It's so popular for the house and I totally see why now. The last one is Rain. Um, this one is the least like me, like my scent profile. This one I really probably wouldn't wear too often, but it's still very beautiful. It's very earthy. Um, you got this very clean, beautiful patchouli in there, but still earthy, but not like dirty and overbearing. Okay, if that makes any sense. Um, it's a little fresh, citrusy, and just a gorgeous, like clean, but earthy fragrance. Next one is going to be Palo Santo, and this is from Carnar Barcelona. I cannot remember if I tried this or sampled this. Back in the day when I had my discovery kit, I don't remember, but this was sent over to me by Carnival Barcelona, which means I must have requested this one in particular, which means I must have smelled it. <laughs> so this one has notes of Davana, Rum Accord, Warm Milk, um, Paraguayan, I guess some form of Guayac wood. Um, then you have Tonka Bean, you have base notes of Moroccan cedar wood, vetiver, and amorous. So this sounds like a unisex woody dream. I have not opened it yet, but stay tuned because I will definitely get into this one in more depth once I open it and actually give it a weird taste. This one I want to actually wear and really give you my full thoughts on it. Um, so, so a big thank you to Karna Barcelona for sending this one over. Cannot wait to experience this one. Right, so these next two are actually duplicate PR gifts. I received both of these, Tolu from Orman Jane and Liquor Beats Per Minute from Lyra Kess Parfums many months ago. But I got sent these fragrances again. So I will probably do a giveaway at some point. Um, but Tolu is a very beautiful balsamic scent. This one actually, the bottle that I have, I'm going to discuss that one in a future video um, because I wanna do like a resins and amber video. So I will be featuring Tolu in that. Uh, but this one is a balmy, sweet, aromatic scent. I think there's like a little tonka bean in there, some rose, uh, orchid, lily of the valley, and some aromatic notes at the top, like a clary sage, but gorgeous fragrance and classy as always. And, you know, that's what we come to know and expect from Ormond Jane. And Liquor Beats Per Minute is a really, really well done, boozy, tobacco scent. I have talked about it before, but it has um, notes of like tobacco, liquor, leather, um, and it leans a little masculine, but if you're someone that loves those unisex scents that lean a little masculine, sweet, tobacco, a uh, little ambery, vanillic in the base, this one is one you should definitely check out because this one, again, like many others from this house, really well done, well executed fragrance. All right, so this next one was gifted to me by Emmett Mikulov, and this is Delice. And very unexpected <laughs> fragrance for what I thought it would be because I don't even think I looked up the notes on this particular fragrance in so long. But they sent this one uh, to me 
along with one of their newer releases um, that I've spoken about in a recent video, Oud Provocante. But this one is to an Oud scent. So you have like this nutmeg, you've got plum, cinnamon, rose, but it is very Oudy. There is a little vanilla in here. I'm just kind of rounding it out in the base. But for for me, I feel like this one is just a little too Oudy for my liking, but it is very sexy. So if you do like those dark, sexier rose oud scents, then this is one you should definitely check out. Um, but I feel like Oud Provocance is just a little bit more feminine and more like my vibe. So beautiful fragrance. So again, if you love those fresh, spicy Oudy scents, then this one is one you should check out. This one is Delise and this is from M. Make It Love. All right, and so the last one is actually one that was gifted to me by the house of Mason Diaba. And this is Silent Night. I think this is their newest release. This one is, is actually a fresher unisex scent with some spiciness. So if you're one that really likes to smell fresh year round, I feel like this is when you should check out because it is very fresh, but there is so many spicy, you know, elements to it. It's a little fruity and it just smells so good. So it has top notes of bergamot, black pepper and liquor. So not at all as, you know, dark and liquory as this one, but Yeah, I mean, you'll probably have to tell me there was a liquor note in here. I really don't pick up on that too much, but you have middle notes of carrot seed, plum, and jasmine. Base notes of amber, vetiver, incense, and cedarwood. So you definitely get the cedarwood. It is a little spicy, very fresh, and a beautifully executed scent. Um, I don't know the price point for this house, but I think the packaging is quite nice. And again, just if you if you love those fresh spicy fragrances and you're looking for something that's really nice and suitable for fall, I think you should definitely check this one out because it is a pleasant fragrance. All right, so that was a lot of perfumes. I tried to get through them as quick as I could, but you all know I do ramble on when I talk about my fragrances. So hopefully, this video did not go too long, but you guys drop me a comment below and let me know fragrances that you have recently added into your collection that you have been enjoying or not enjoying. It doesn't matter. I want to know either way. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. You guys make sure the notification bell is turned on and set to all. And last but not least, give the video a big thumbs up as it helps the channel to grow. It has been real. I love you all YouTube and I will catch you guys on the next one.